Yo, what up y'all, Intravenous here, back with another episode. Today I bring you yet another Pokemon ROM hack in its physical form. This is a fan-made game made by the creator 1158, and it is a direct sequel to our last game called Pokemon Victory Fire. If you didn't catch that one, check out the previous episode. This game takes place a year later, and you play as... A trainer who lives in Cedar City. One day, Professor Avery asks him or her to find and record data on each Pokemon. Later, they run into Team Mirage. Team Mirage was quite active in the Tyron region in the previous game, Victory Fire. Now they are back, and it's time to see why they have reorganized. And it's all happening in the Cylon region. All in all, this has three regions, Cylon, Tyron, and Johto. And it includes a lot of pretty fun sounding stuff. We got 4th gen, 5th gen, and 33 of the 6th gen Pokemon, as well as 5 Pokemon from the 7th gen. And, you know, we got new regions, obviously, Mega Evolutions, Alolan, Vulpix, and Alolan Ninetales are included. So, I thought we would go ahead and play the first 5 or 10 minutes of this game, see what it's all about. I want to see what kind of Pokemon you start out with, uh, how many mentions they have of the first game right off the bat. You will, we'll do a save test and see if it saves, obviously. We're going to be playing it on my Game Boy Advance from SoCalGameBoy.com. I highly recommend you go ahead and check out that website and contact them if you are interested in creating your own custom Game Boy Advance like this one. Pretty freaking neat. I'm also going to be playing it on my console dock that I also got from SoCal Game Boy. And what this does, it lets me play it with a Super Nintendo controller. And I'll switch views so you can see it better while we do that. Alright. Here we go, using a wireless SNES style controller this time. See how this intro looks if they did anything different before I press any buttons. I think that's somebody different riding the bike there for sure. I got someone different riding the bike. And yeah, maybe some different Pokemon flying around there too. This part looks the same. Alright, I'm pressing a button here. Let's get through this. Alright, we got ourselves a uh, nice custom screen there for Pokemon Resolute version. Let's check our options real quick. I'm going to set it to fast. And L equals A. Let's pick a different frame here. Ooh, multicolored. Alright. New game. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Avery. Alright, Avery, alright. Everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. And that's a Pokemon right there. This world's inhabited by these creatures called Pokemon. This is all pretty much the same. You know, we pretty much know this message. It's many secrets surrounding Pokemon. Let's unravel the mysteries together, as Avery does. I am a boy, and my name is M C I V. Yes. Okay. Yes, I live in Cedar City, apparently. I'm glad you got it. And so do I. Alright, are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's go. It's going to unfold. There's Pokemon dreams and such and all the yada 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 good times. Out sea meadows. What's going on? Is there a volcano erupting? 
Wait a second. Uh, that... Hold up, that was the exact same sound and shaking that goes on when you're playing Pokemon Emerald when you arrive in the back of the moving truck. So you're telling me that somehow they didn't get rid of the whole shaking of the character and the sound effects involved there before this started? That's not a good sign. Uh, MCIV says, Outsea Meadow. Yes, this place. Elijah must be waiting for me nearby. Hmm, my Riolu. Seems still energetic. Good. Alright, here I am. Running around in circles. Up. Oh, Elijah. Oh, hey. Whoa, there's no spaces. Oh, hey, 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 MCIV. Still remember what we're here for? I don't know. I don't, actually. Yes, yes, that's right. We're here for a battle. Oh, okay. But we must go back home early. After all, Professor Avery ordered us to go to Solar City. To meet him. Alright. So, to make it quicker, let's start the battle right now. Alright, Elijah. Let's see what you got. Come on now. What we got here? A Larvesta. And I have my unfortunate choice. I can't pick my own Pokemon. They just gave me a... a Riolu. Let's get some foresight on this Mo Effer. Uh, my defense fell. Quick attack. Wacha! Oi. Oh, come on. Do not kill me. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, should I have detected him? I guess maybe I should have detected him. Uh, he was just using tackle on me. Wow. Well, that was a sad beginning. My mom's waiting for me in the doorway to scold me for losing. I must leave for Alsea Meadows. Elijah must be waiting. Uh, oh, that was weird. Because, yeah, I hadn't been to my house yet. This is the very beginning. Although I'm happy that I finally won, but what's the time? It is now... But what's the time? It is now... No spaces, comma, MCIV. I hope we're not late. Well, you must be a little baked. It's 420, dog. Whoops! It's a bit late now. Okay, never mind. Just remember to set your alarm clock. Elier. Elier. There's no R there. Why is no R? I. Let's go back home right now. Yes, please, Elijah. Have you hear that? Have you hear that? What is going on here? Was this another one that was written by a child? How do children figure out how to make Pokemon games? I'm flabbergasted. What's the sound? What's that sound? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Says two kids, question mark. Oh, sorry. Could you please make a way to let us go? Oh, we blocked your way? Sorry. At least they got these, uh, you know, custom little tiles there. Animation, they tried. That girl. She has a great Pokemon with her. Isn't she? What? All right. Even if I have never seen that kind of Pokemon, exclamation mark, cool, exclamation mark. Well, time to go, MCIV, and you'll not be able to get up in time. Uh, how is this a sequel to Victory Fire, and it's got even worse language and dialogue? Maybe this isn't the final version. I think the final version of this game is like 2.9 or something, but this... 
seems like it was written by a child. And there's no proofreading or editing going on. Oh, have you regained your energy now? Fantastic. I went to Marble Supermarket when you're sleeping. When you're sleeping. And I came back just now. Watch this. This music is terrible, too, by the way. They would speed it up and loop it. Dear, I bought this for you. Thank God. Break that sound. With that technical machine, you can have... <laughs> running shoes. All right. Pokeballs. Put them in the bucket bucket. <laughs> right. Let's get out of here. This music's terrible. Jesus. Is that mom's theme song? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right. So, um... I guess I'll go heal my... Well, my Pokemon should be healed because I lost. Yeah. Alright, so... What am I supposed to do now? I already got a Pokemon. Hector is a cool leader, right? I don't know, bro. Well, out see Meadows, I still remember, said the purple hair man. Oh, sorry for have ignored you and your battle time. This is not as good of a Pokemon game as I thought it'd be, kinda, that's what I'm thinking. In fact, if this is how this game is, then I no longer want to play through Victory Fire. I don't want to have to read a bunch of broken English the whole time. That really takes away from the game and I like some intelligent wordplay going on a little bit, like... Alright, Rio, show them what you got. Let's just quick attack our way out of here as quickly as possible. We'll detect him. That just protects me from the next move, though, doesn't it? I mean, what the... Throw some foresight in there? I'm not a big fan of Rio, honestly. Could have gotten a better Pokemon to start out with. This is ridiculous. If I die again here, thank you for hardening, Ninkata. I feel like they just gave me the win because I was upset. Wow. Well, I'm leveling up my Rio. He's learned Bide, and he's trying to learn Counter. Do I want Counter? In case y'all don't know, Counter retaliates any physical hit with double the power, which should be better than... Detect. I never use Detect. I just... Maybe I just haven't been put in the right scenario where I know what's coming up next and I'm like, well, I'll definitely detect that and then they probably won't do it again. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. This is ridiculous. This is really bad. I mean, I think... I could have battled better, but still. Have y'all played this one? Look at this. My Rio's a weakling. Dude. Dude, the walk of shame. Do the walk of shame. Bad, bad MCIV. The heck is going on here? Come on, let's go uh, try him one more time, and then I guess I'm gonna go ahead and save. I mean, at least I'm leveled up. So I got a better chance this time. Mm 
Hmm. Well, at least all the text is good during the uh, the fighting, but that's copy paste stuff. I mean, they didn't they didn't touch that. This is a really boring battle. Right on. Grow, Rio, grow. Let's take this Shinx out and see what happens. <laughs> Hey, level eight. That mystery trainer and his purple hair really socked it to my Rio. He did great. I didn't even get a chance to nickname my Pokemon, you know. I would have nicknamed him Rio. Who's that guy? He seems to be familiar for me. Familiar for me. But I really can't remember that. What is he talking about? Hey, MCIV! Let's cluster all our words together with punctuation. All mismatched. What are you doing here? You mean you just encountered a familiar person? You encountered a familiar person? Oh, wow. Who's that person? A familiar? You don't know. You get confused. I get confused. We all get confused. I mean, where am I? Who am I? We don't know. Let's just forget that strange person. Just tell me. Will you battle me now? Hell no. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Are you also playing? Yes, I'm gonna go to Solar City. Like a moth flying straight into the flames. Yeah, that's... That's where we're gonna do the save test, y'all. My lordy. Not the best 13 minutes. I'll tell you, not the best. Alright, I'm going to switch views so we can see how this save file came out. Alright, y'all, so there it is. Let me know what you think about this game down in the comments. Have you ever played Pokemon Resolute? Honestly, I've been playing Victory Fire for over four hours now, and knowing that this is the sequel to this, I don't even want to play this anymore. I'm going to stop playing it, and unfortunately, you know, I had my doubts about this, but I was like, hey, if they made a trilogy, then maybe, but uh, no. I don't want to play anything with a bunch of broken English where they, it seems like it's written by a child, just not my thing wasn't very fun. It reminds me a lot of Pokemon Arceus, which, uh, well, go check out that video if you don't know what I mean. I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end of the video. Thank you so much. If you like this, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe. I really appreciate that, and it encourages me to make more videos. I got a lot more coming, including a whole heck of a lot more Pokemon games, even more than what you see here. I've got over 54 physical Pokemon ROM hack cartridges to check out one by one on the channel. So until next time, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace out. Well that was just childhood. We were all there together and in denial would play like it was forever. And in the tall woods, we'd stay out of the weather like it was all good. Every day we made it for pleasure. We were saying whatever came to our minds. Plain and simple like a tether ball reaching the sky. We were taking new heights on the swing while it was making us fly. Beat the king of the hill and everything will be fine. The thrill, thrill of everything we would find. Again, the sense of a child.